What's up guys, it's Jake with JT Calls. Um, so we've done the Duck Series, and the Duck Series was very successful, and I've gotten so many messages about the Goose Call. So before we get going with how to make all the sounds, we're going to start with the fundamentals. How you hold the call, and how you place the call to your mouth. Because if you don't have those mastered, everything else is going to be much harder. So, we got our Goose Call. So we've got our goose call and we're going to, it doesn't matter how long the call is, like the short fuse or the SFX, it's the same for both of them. I'm going to wrap my index finger and my thumb around the call like that, just to where there's enough room where my middle finger is going to rub right on the edge of the insert. And then my ring finger and my pinky finger, I'm going to close down. And so my sound's going to come out of that hole right there. And if I close my middle finger down, it's going to give me a deeper pitch, and if I raise my middle finger up, it's going to give me a higher pitch. So that's one of the ways that we're going to control the pitch of the call. Now with my offhand, I'm just going to kind of cup it and bring it here to muffle the sound. I'm never going to close it down all the way. I always see guys trying to really, really choke it down, and we don't want to do that. This is just going to kind of muffle it. And it just it's gonna bring that tone down a little bit deeper and to make it a little more goosey. So, all right, now that we've got our hands on the call right, we need to get the call up to our mouth correctly. So it's gonna be kind of like if it, if this is a bottle of water, we're gonna be drinking out of it. So I'm gonna place the barrel right on the top of my bottom lip, and I'm gonna push it right up to my top lip, just like that. I'm not putting both lips inside of it, or I'm not putting the entire call in my mouth. Just right on your bottom lip and push it right up to your top. So my bottom lip is kind of over the outside of the bottom of the call. Alright, now that we've got our hands on the call right and we've got the call up to our mouth properly, now we've got to present air to the call. And so we're just going to work on the honk. Now to get the honk, we're going to bring hot pressurized air from deep. We're not just going to blow into the call. We're going to keep our cheeks tight and force the air through. It's going to be uck, 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 uck. And so you're, there's, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Some guys use the tip of their tongue to break it, and some guys use the middle of their tongue. If you're going to use the tip of your tongue, it's a T sound. And if you're going to use the middle of your tongue, it's a K sound. So we're going to start. So we'll do, we'll do the T sound. So you're going to start with your tongue all the way, uh, the tip of your tongue, all the way at the top of your mouth. You're going to drop it. You're going to have your air pressurized behind your tongue. You're going to drop it down. It's going to give you to the front end of the honk. And then you're going to bring it up quickly and it'll break it off. Uck, 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 uck. And that uh, at the beginning, that O sound is giving you some voice inflection. That's going to make it a lot deeper. Ma, 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 ma. And to break that honk over, I see a lot of guys, like at the shows, I work with guys a lot, and to break it over, they're trying to blow harder. And you're not blowing harder, you're bringing your tongue up, and that's creating more pressure, and that's what breaks the note over. So now we got our hands right, we got the call up to our mouth properly, and now we're honking. And I'm sure now you want to skip to the next video, but you need to honk and honk and honk and honk and honk and honk. Because you need to have, you know, it's all muscle memory. You need to have your tongue trained to honk every single time and get it perfectly. Because every single note from here on out is built from this. It's a variation of the front half or the second half or all of it together. So don't skip forward until you absolutely have this mastered. Keep practicing it and then practice this some more. And if you're, a question I get a lot, if you're shopping for a new goose call, or maybe your first goose call, and we have two options. We have the SFX and the short fuse. As you can tell, the SFX is a lot longer than the short fuse. The SFX is a lot more forgiving. It's a lot easier to get that honk breaking over, and you can get a lot deeper with it. <coughs> Takes a lot less air, opposed to the short fuse, which it takes a little bit more air to break over, but it's a little bit louder and you can get a little faster with it.
So if you're looking for your first goose call, I would recommend the SFX. If you're a lot more advanced and you're looking for something with a little bit more performance, I'd go with the short fuse. So that's it for this one. We're going to be doing a whole series of instructional goose videos. So stay tuned. They're going to be coming. But thanks for watching. Hope it helped you.